This topic is word problems with addition or subtraction of integers. The first problem says Donna is riding in a bike race. It goes through a valley in a nearby mountain range. The table gives the altitude and feet above sea level for the five checkpoints in the race. So it looks like that there are some points in the race where she goes into valleys, which would be below sea level. That's why these are negatives. And then this must be where she was in a mountain range. And again, in mountain range, this was a valley right here. Problem A says the top of a hill rises 447 feet above checkpoint 1. What is the altitude of the top of the hill? So I'm going to draw a quick sketch just to try to make this a little bit more clear. So we're going to pretend like we have some water here and it's going to meet a land and we're going to go into a valley and then maybe a hill eventually. And I'm going to show you kind of how the land and the water might meet right here. This would be your, your water right here. And we call this right here, this level right here, where the water, the, the, the level of the water right here, we call this sea level. Sea level is our zero point of elevation. So it's neither above or below the level of the sea. It is the level of the sea. Now, in this case, we have your, your kind of gradually sloping up to the land. We have a little hill here, and then we have a valley. Now, in this valley down here, you're actually below the level of the water. So if there was a big storm that push this water over this hill, if you're living down here, you might be in trouble. Now, for our purposes, checkpoint uh, one is down here. It's 213 feet below the level of the water. And then the top of the hill, way up here somewhere, is 447 feet above checkpoint one. The question is, what is the elevation of the top of the hill? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to add 447 feet to checkpoint one to find the elevation of the hill. So in this case, we have a negative and a positive. So we're gonna have some canceling out. We had bigger, more positives. 447 is more than 213. So we're gonna cancel out all of those 213. And it looks like we're left with 234 positives. So the top of the hill is 234 feet above sea level. So I don't need to put a positive there because it says what's the altitude and the altitude is 234 feet. And part B says how much higher is checkpoint three than checkpoint one. So if I were to continue my, my drawing over here, this is a hill, if, if further to the right there was a mountain, that would be where checkpoint three is, 1,469 feet above sea level. So I'm just gonna draw this kind of on a number line. Here is checkpoint three, it's at 1,469 feet. Here is sea level, which is zero. Here is checkpoint one, which is negative 213. We're just trying to find out how far apart is this one and this one, checkpoint one and checkpoint three. So from here to here, we're 213 feet. From here to here, we're 1,469 feet. We just need to add those up, 1,469 and 213. And it looks like we get 1,682 feet. Here's another example. It says the table gives a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit of five cities at 6 a.m. on the same day. And we're going to use the table to answer. Part A says how much higher was the 6 a.m. temperature in Houston than Milwaukee? So we're doing this one and this one. So here's Houston up here, 56 degrees. Here's zero. Here's Milwaukee. We're just trying to find out how far apart they are. So this distance is 56. This distance is 6. If we add 56 and 6, we get 62 degrees higher. Second part says by noon, the temperature in Juno had risen by 10 degrees Fahrenheit. What was the temperature there at June? So in Juno, the temperature at 6 a.m. was negative 21 way down here, but it rose, it went up 10 degrees. So we're going to get closer to zero because here's zero. We're going to get closer to zero by 10 degrees. So what we're really doing is doing negative 21 plus 10 plus 10 degrees. And in this case, we have some canceling out because we have negatives and positives. Uh, we have more negatives and positives. So all the positives are going to be canceled out. We're going to take them away and we're going to be left with 11 degrees. And in this case, it's going to be a negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit because we did not rise enough even to get to zero degrees.